Now for a quick demonstration of CTAC integrated with NCASE version 7. We first select an existing case that has already been processed. We then browse to the existing evidence in the case. We then move to the Enscript menu and select CTAC to execute. The CTAC progress window is displayed while the app processes the existing case. CTAC processing time will vary based on the size of your case. Once completed, CTAC will automatically launch the CTAC summary report, which contains multiple sections. This begins with the overall threat level and moves to the summary, which reports the individual threats detected. In this example, CTAC discovered TC STEG, a steganography program, and Zeus, a popular botnet. For each threat, details are reported that include general information, vulnerability and impact data, best practice recommendations, and finally, the technical details associated with each threat. Based upon the specific threat, the depth and specifics provided will of course vary. Finally, at the bottom of the report, the specific files associated with each threat are detailed. Details include the file name, associated path, hash values, along with modified access and created times reported by NCASE. In addition to the summary report, CTAC integrates findings directly into NCASE. By moving to the View menu and selecting the Bookmark item, you can view bookmarks that have been recorded for the case. CTAC automatically records bookmarks with specific comments associated with its findings.